We believe a man can do something, even if he has never done it before. But we believe a woman can only do something if we've seen her do it before. People do not know my capabilities well. So they have all other mentalities about me until I prove them otherwise. In all the different departments, all the parts of the industry, women can do the job. The mining sector is much more welcoming to women now than it has been in the past. Be brave, be brave, there to do things. I have something to contribute in this world and I am a valuable thread in this tapestry called life. What do you consider to be the most rewarding work you've ever done or your proudest moment and achievement in mining? I had the opportunity to lead um, the Social Responsibility Committee at AMEBC to ensure that the principles of social responsibility were well understood and that we are working collaboratively towards mechanisms and tools to help us implement those principles. I'm now supervisor, environment supervisor because all my superiors and manager trust in me and in my job. So I do the, all the sampling about water, about air quality, and also protect the biodiversity. I am like some guardians of environment quality, so it's very beautiful. To integrate more women to the operation areas, especially from the local communities, in the company with the apprentice program with the inclusion of young women in how track programs. I'm really proud of our um, malaria program in Ghana. It's doing really wonderful things. It's been able to really bring down malaria in the areas where we operate. What challenges have you faced or encountered during your career in the mining industry? Your capability being continuously questioned. That means that we have to work harder and you have to produce results and you have to deliver. Was there a point when I doubted, you know, my abilities, doubted myself? Of course, it happens all the time. What do I do to overcome those doubts? I humbly admit when there are times that I don't, I'm not the expert in something and I ask questions of the experts. If you were speaking to a young woman just about to begin her career in the mining industry, what advice would you give her? My advice to women joining an industry is to own the fact that they're female and don't try to conform to what you believe is, you know, the maleness in order to, to fit into the industry and let the industry adapt to having more females rather than you adapting to fit in the industry. Lose the fear because that is the greatest limitation we have. Have sisterhood. Has a gender, we can be the hardest hearts with ourselves and with other women. Raise your hand when you want to raise your hand. Uh, make your, um, share your opinions, use your voice, um, make important connections, build friendships, build mentorships, find your sponsors and work hard. My advice would be to have a vision. This will help guide you and provide a clear path forward so you can progress in your career. I always tell women, especially the intense and graduate training who come on board, that they can also make a difference. It doesn't matter this is a male-dominated industry. How do you, as a woman in mining, break the bias? I work in the corporate office and I'm surrounded by talented, professional, very successful women. And I have plenty of um, role models which I didn't have when I started. For myself I think the biggest tool has been building self-awareness and really just um, understanding that I am worthy you know I, 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 I deserve to be at the table I deserve a seat at the table. What I've had to do is really take a very active role in my own career development and really be vocal and ask for the opportunities I'm looking for. And that isn't always something that comes naturally to women, to be that vocal and to ask for what they want and to you know, demand opportunities to help grow their career. But it is necessary in a, in a male-dominated industry like mining. I have to take up challenging roles and to deliver set goals so that I can build on my confidence 
in order to make meaningful contributions to decision making.